Today we're going to square logs. We cut down a few spruce trees and hemlock trees and brought them inside here. It takes a long time to square them, so what we did was we did a few stages of each of the whole process so we could get it done for you in front. Now, remember, whenever you're doing these things, you should be wearing your safety glasses, your earplugs, and your uh, gloves and tools. When you get tired, when you get tired using these tools, you should stop because it's very dangerous with axes and so forth when you lose a grip on one of them, you can get hurt. Okay, the first step is we have this hemlock here and we're going to draw shave it. Draw shaving is we're going we're gonna to clean the bark off. And uh, we have Jenny here to show us how to do that. All right, so this is the 12 foot hemlock that my dad cut down and I have my 16 inch draw shave here with a 13 inch straight blade that I'm going to use to take the bark off of the log. So you just do it in one swift motion all the way down. You can see how smooth that is. It brings it right down. And Jenny went over a knot there, just cleared it out. If you were doing a, for a log home, and you wanted to, you could use the curved blade and get some texture on the wood. But for this purpose, we're just taking off the bark. Okay, Jenny's going to work on that, and we're going to come over here. What we've done is we have a spruce log here. It's uh, 10 feet long and 14 inches in diameter. It's already been draw shaved, so you can see we're down to the wood here. And we're going to square it. The first thing we have to do is put a square here. You have to find the center of the log, and it's an 8 by 8 we're going to end up with. So you have to make an 8 by 8 square, 4 inches each way, make sure the diagonals equal each other. And then we've drawn the lines across here to come to the end so that we know, and we'll have one coming this way later on. What we need to do, we have this same square down there, and we're going to chalk line this. So Joe and Allie will chalk line it for you. We have to pull this nice and tight. So we put nails on each side. And you get out any of these little flaps so that they don't get in the way of the chalk line. All set? There. And then just a nice, beautiful, nice red line goes across here. Now we did this to the other side also. So there's two chalk lines going across here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to cut across from chalk line to chalk line. And for this part we're going to use the circular saw. If you were outside in the field you could use a chainsaw. Oh yeah, take those nails off Joe. And, uh, you can use a chainsaw, but in this case we're going to use the circular saw. What you want to do is make the blade go almost as deep as the line here. that all the way down. Now, from this end, what we're going to do is juggle them off, it's called. I have an axe and a four pound Collins axe small handle. Putting the axe right on that line
Yo, Yo, you think you can hold that other side of the log so it doesn't roll? Thanks. Just going right across. It takes a little bit. trailed down a little bit here, so it's a little bit lower than the cut we made for the circular saw. So we're just going to go across here to try to save some of that wood. use some of these to prop it up and keep it level because you don't want it to go sideways on you. 